So a few thoughts on Biden's supposed re-election campaign for U.S. president. The first is, the dirty little secret here is that Biden's not actually running for president. It's the managerial class putting him up as their stooge, as their puppet to stand up for their own agenda. That's why his cognitive impairment doesn't bother them. That's not a bug. That's a feature to them. Just like John Fetterman, it lends Biden to be subject to control by his handlers. So that's the first point. Second point is it was pretty interesting to watch the likes of Susan Rice resign literally the day before Biden announces for re-election. Many more of the puppet masters looking how they can pull the strings on the puppet in the next election cycle. But the real thing that should stick with every person in the Democratic Party too is that they spat in the face of their own base by saying that there wouldn't be debates. Biden is and his handlers are so uncourageous that they would not subject him to actually even being questioned by the likes of you know, some thoughtful people like RFK Jr. who are in that race, that's not a risk that Biden's handlers would actually want to take. And so, you know, I think it's interesting. I mean, the Democrat Party is the Democratic Party. They're the party of the managerial class. We in the Republican Party need to stand for the fact that, yes, we mean what we say. When we say free speech, we mean that we stand for free speech. That's a culture of free speech. That's why debate, free speech and open debate is so, so important to our party. And as Biden goes the way of the bureaucratic class, you know what? We go the way of actually saying that we're going to lead based on the agenda, based on substance. And yes, that means that we're not afraid of taking on debate, whether that's me versus Don Lemon on their set or whether that's a stage of Republican debate stage participants. We shouldn't be the party that's afraid of debate. We should be the party that says, you know what? We're confident enough and have enough self-confidence to, yes, stand for that ideal. Let the Democrats be the party of silencing opposition. Let the Republican Party if it's to grow up, be a party of actually standing on the values we preach.